Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to present to you the top 10 best folding survival knife available market today. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Check out the description to find out their prices and more information. We've included the links in the description below. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the daily video notification. So, without further ado, let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Morniv Companion. Let's start with what is quite possibly the most recommended bushcrafting knife, the Morniv Companion. Mora makes no nonsense, inexpensive blades designed for people who need to survive in the woods. There's a lot of overlap between bushcrafting and survival because bushcrafting is two-thirds surviving, one-third hobby. The Morniv Companion is available with two types of steel, 12C27 stainless steel or 1095 carbon steel giving you options whether you prefer corrosion resistance or a better edge. The handle is polymer and rubber, making it comfortable and grippy whether hot or cold, wet or dry. The blade is well-sized for both light and heavy tasks. You can chop through a branch and then whittle it into a feather stick. However, don't baton with a companion unless you have a backup knife. The tang only goes three quarters of the way through the handle. The companion has other versions as well, including the heavy duty and rescue. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Ontario 499 Air 4 Survival Knife. The Ontario 499 Air 4 Survival Knife was designed as a piece of emergency kit for pilots who might be shot down over enemy territory. It's similar to other Ontario knives, such as the USM Fighting Knife, but is made more for survival than for fighting. You can still stick a pick with it, though. The 5-inch blade is thick enough to survive cutting a hole through an aircraft skin. It's more than up to the task of processing firewood. Though, the tang is rat tail instead of full. So while it can baton through small logs, you won't want to do this constantly. The handle is made from leather and provides ample grip through a wide range of conditions. The blade is very thick at 0.1875 inches. The clip point is great for stabbing. The back is serrated, but not deeply enough to use it as a wood saw. The pommel is heavy steel, so you can use it as a hammer if you need to. The leather sheath even includes a sharpening stone, which you'll need to maintain the 1095 carbon steel edge. The number 3 position is held by Falnevin Aeon. The Falnevin Aeon blends Japanese steel with Swedish design for an amazing survival knife that can handle any task you demand of it. You can tell as soon as you hold this knife that a lot of thought went into its design. It balances well and feels natural in the hand. The shape is simple but very effective. The blade is 6.2 inches long. This may be longer than ideal for some tasks, but the Aeon will still work for them. The modified drop point gives you control to the very end. What's notable about the blade is its width. At almost a quarter inch thick, it's extremely tough. A cratten handle covers the full tang. Combine the tang blade thickness, and you have a survival knife you can use as a bludgeon. This and the straight back, almost all the way from tip to pommel let you baton this blade through any wood in the world. There's even an exposed section of the tang. So you can use the pommel as a hammer. The Aeon has a VG10 high carbon steel core covered in 420 J2 stainless steel to blend the best qualities of both stainless and carbon steels. Next at number four, we have Topps Tom Brown Tracker. Renowned tracker Tom Brown Jr. designed the tracker knife as an all-purpose survival knife after being questioned if the perfect survival knife existed. It eventually made its way into a 2001 movie called The Hunted. The 6.25 inch blade has a unique design with a semi-circular front, hook midsection, and saw back. The idea is for this knife to be able to handle any task you might need in the woods. It excels at chopping and is basically half survival hatchet. The other tasks, though, well, the hook portion is a passable draw knife. You can carve feather sticks because the mick are to handle and jimp and give you good control. However, the knife is overall balanced too far forward for delicate tasks. The saw portion is good for notching, but not as good for actually sawing. It does, however, chew through any piece of wood you'll use to baton with this knife, which seems counterproductive. Overall, the tracker knife is a passable multipurpose blade that shines best when chopping. Unlike many knives, it comes with a manual that explains all the ways you can use this knife. The number 5 position is held by Survivor HK 106320A. 
The Survivor HK 106320 is a bit small for a survival knife. The blade is made from an unstated form of stainless steel, so that's not the best either. Though it is in an effective Tanto style and has good jimping. The Survivor HK 106320 is not a good primary survival knife. However, it's both easily concealed and very cheap, under $10. In fact, you can buy an 8-pack of these knives and still not spend as much money as some of the knives on this list. This makes the Survivor HK 106320 an excellent backup or emergency knife, especially with the included magnesium fire starter rod and nylon cord handle, which unravels for when you need cordage. You can toss one in your backpack, glove a box, boot, each pair of pants you own, and anywhere else you can think of, so you will always have this knife no matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter if you own the best survival knife if you've left it at home. The best survival knife is the one you have with you, and it's easy to have a Survivor HK 106320 with you. The number 6 position is dominated by Kalbar Becker BK22 Companion. This knife by Kalbar is the Becker BK22 Companion, even if some of the official material says differently. There was an intern who thought they were oh so clever by using a spell checker. I imagine. The Campanion is a heavy-duty survival knife designed to work for a living. According to Kalbar, the blade is 5.25 inches long and a quarter inch thick. It has a fat drop point and is 1.625 inches wide, making this a hefty boy. It's good for chopping, prying, and batoning. The flat grind is also good for finer tasks, such as skinning game and preparing food. Even though the knife is large, the Campanion is well balanced but might be too large for people with small hands. I prefer the softer sheath because it has a pocket for a sharpening stone. That stone isn't included, unfortunately. Moving on to the next at number 7, with ESEE 6P. The ESEE 6P is not a very impressive looking knife. However, it hits every point you need for a survival knife. It has a long, wide blade made from 1095 carbon steel that can hold a good edge and still be used for prying and batoning. There's subtle yet effective jimping on the spine for greater control. A black powder coating protects against corrosion. The micarta handles are removable if you need to clean blood from underneath them. They cover almost all the tang except for the lanyard hole and a portion you can use for hammering. The blade may be wide, but the 6P is not a heavy knife. It's heavy enough for chopping, sure, but it won't be too heavy to wear you out. In fact, it's surprisingly effective at finer tasks like whittling. The 6P comes with a molded polymer sheath that retains the knife well. It has a belt clip instead of a belt loop, if that matters to you. The only downside to this blade is minor. Both the blade and handles are very hard, so you feel the full impact of every swing. Finally, ESE is a wonderful warranty. If you break your 6P for any reason, they will repair or replace it even if you're not the original owner. The number 8 position is held by Gerber Bear Grylls Survival AO Knife. I'm typically not a fan of Bear Grylls branded survival items, but the Gerber Bear Grylls Survival AO Knife surprised me with its features and quality. One of my problems with folding knives is how most of them have a liner lock. Liner locks require you to put your finger in the blade's path as you start to fold the blade closed. Yikes! The Bear Grylls Survival AO Knife, though, has a plunger lock. That's a button on the side, greatly reducing your chances of slicing your finger open during a survival situation. Opening the knife is easy too, with a fast 2.0 spring-assisted opening mechanism. Undo the safety and flick the knife open using either of the two thumb studs. This covers the second major problem with folding knives in that they're rarely as ambidextrous as fixed blades. The blade is Chinese 7CR17 Mo V stainless steel that's good enough. Not the best, but not the worst. The handle is bright orange fiberglass reinforced nylon and rubber. You'll have a hard time losing this knife. Keep in mind that, as a folding knife, you won't be able to abuse this knife as much as a fixed blade. Next at number 9 we have Buck Knives 110 LT Drop Point Folding Hunter. Buck Knives 110 Folding Hunter is a 50-year-old design that's still used by hunters and outdoorsmen today. The Drop Point LT version is even better for survival situations. The normal 110 has ebony scales with brass bolsters and also has a clip point. The LT has a textured polyester handle that reduces weight and increases weather resistance. It also has a drop point, which is not quite as effective for fine detail work, such as carving, but it's more durable for survival tasks. 
You won't put on a folder, but this version of the Folding Hunter can survive tougher tasks than many other folding knives. The blade is 3.75 inches long and is made from 420HC stainless steel. Buck uses a proprietary heat treating method to make their 420HC superior to the same steel by other manufacturers. It's more corrosion and wear resistant. Also, the lock is on the back, not in the blade's path, keeping you safe. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Opinal No. 8 Octora. Opinal knives became a classic 100 years ago. They are folding knives distilled into their most essential elements and made from only five parts. The Opinal No. 8 Outdoor is a modern version more advanced, but not annoyingly so. Opinal No. 8 is the most popular size, with a 3.25-inch blade. The Outdoor range version is Sandvik 12 C20, 7 stainless steel, which can get very sharp while resisting corrosion. Unlike the classic wood-handled carbone with high carbon steel, the blade shape is similar to that of a Turkish saber, with a mild concave section, then convex tip-shaped, halfway between a clip and drop point. The outdoor opinal is partially serrated, which increases its versatility. There's also a 4mm to 10mm shackle key. This all contributes to a blade that cuts well above its weight class. And it's in the featherweight class. The opinal no. 8 outdoor weighs 2.2 ounces. The handle is made from black and orange polymer. It has subtle curves which make the knife comfortable in your hand, and unlike the classic opinals, is not prone to swelling in humid weather. It has a whistle near the end. You have to manually unlock, unfold, then lock the blade in order to use it. The Viroblock safety collar contributes to this knife strength but also makes it slow to use. We upload all types of survival kit product review videos every single day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.